Hey, today I'm making a tutorial on how to make a candy beanie. So what's on my head? Yeah, this is what they look like when they're off. They kind of look like jellyfishes. So yeah, can I show you this one? So yeah, they look really cool. This one. And basically, how they start is they start off with just a star, like that. So you can do it in whatever color. And so I'm going to make one and show you guys how to. So yeah. Okay, so what you do first is we'll get some string. I use like black stretchy string because I find it works the best. So just grab about two, two arms length maybe. About that. Your preference, however much string you like working with at one time. And so what you do first is you make a star. For those of you who don't know how to make a star, what you do first, oh yeah, I'm doing pink and turquoise. What you do first is you add 10 beads of whichever color you want the middle part to be. So the black on this one is going to be pink for mine. So you're going to add 10 pink beads. These are actually quite simple to make. They're really fun to make too. So once you have 10, you're going to move them all down to one side. And then you're going to tie it. Just like how you just tie it on. Tie it about three times. That's what I do. And it should look like that like that. And just cut off the shorter string. And now your star, well this part of the star, oops, is going to have five points. So this is just the inner of the star. So it should look like this, have five points. Now, you're going to be having the string come out of one of the points, so any point. So mine's coming out of this point. And then you're gonna string on three beads, and that's gonna make. Now we're gonna make the red part. It's like right here. <clears throat> I'm gonna do turquoise. So put on three beads, like so. And then you're gonna put the string. So once you have your three beads on, you're gonna put the string through. Because your string's coming into this one, you're gonna put it through. You're gonna put it through this point. So, like so. I'm just going to pull it through and make one point. See? Now you're going to do that all the way around. Do another one. So just add three beads. Like I said, once you have the three beads on, because it's coming out of this one, you're going to put it through this point. And then just pull it through. Like this. And now we're going to do that all the way around. Okay, so once you get to the last one, when you have your beads on the string, you're going to put it through the same one that the first one was coming through. So this one. And then you pull it. You're not going to tie it though or anything yet. Just going to pull it through. Make sure it's nice and tight. You have a little star. This is what it should look like. Star. And now, now since we're making a beanie, now we're going to do the yellow part. And how you do that is first you take your string and you string it up. Like, so your string is coming out of this bead. You're going to string it up to the point bead. So you're going to string it up through this, this bead. And you're also going to put it through this top bead right here. And then just pull it all through. And now, to make that part I showed you, it's basically, so right now you have three, and that's an odd number. So you're going to carry on with the odd numbers. So now that this has three, we're going to do five. So put five beads on your string. Like so. And now after you have five beads on, 
you're gonna string it through this point bead and you're gonna pull it see and then it's gonna look like like that like that <laughs> and then it's gonna start to make the bigger shape you're gonna keep going bigger and bigger with all numbers so then now you're gonna keep doing it so add another five beads on your string And then, once again, coming out of this one, string it through this point bead. And then pull it tight. And just do that all the way around. Okay, so when you get to the last one, like after you've done the four, and you're on the fifth one, you'll have five beads on your string. You're going to string it through the point bead, like what the first one was coming out of. And then also, you're going to string it up to the next point bead. So you're going to string it up the blue one, up this pink one, and up the next pink one until you get to the point bead. You're going to string it through the point bead as well. So, like that. String it up. And the string should be coming through that point bead. Make sure everything is nice and tight. And then, it should look like this right now. Yay! So now, now we're going to make the green part, this part on the beanie, and that consists of seven beads each side. So I'm going to use turquoise. I'm going to bead on, I'm going to put seven beads on the string. So you put seven beads on, and then you're going to put it, so it's coming out of this point bead, you're going to put the string through this point bead right here, this one. And then you're going to pull it. And then it should look like that. And you're going to do that all the way around. So, again, string on seven beads. And so it's coming out of this point bead, and you're going to string it through this point bead. And then it should look like this. And you're going to do that all the way around, that same thing, until you get back to the beginning. Okay, so now you're on your last one. So you're going to have seven beads on the string. And then, so it's coming out of this point bead. And we're going to string it through the same point bead we started with. So this point bead. Oops. It's tricky. <laughs> we're string it through that point bead. So now, we're going to string this string up through these three beads to the next point bead. And you're going to string it through the point bead as well. So like that. Oops. So now it's coming out of this point bead. So right now we're on seven. Now since we did, we did the black, red, yellow, and green, now we're back on the black, so we're doing this part now. And that consists of nine beads. So, you're going to put nine beads on your string. Like so. Now, you're going to, sh because they're coming out of that bead, you're going to string, you're going to put it through this point bead, so like in the middle of seven would be like the third, the fourth bead, sorry, and you're going to just string it through and pull, like that, and then that's how it's going to look, so it's kind of like what you have been doing, just bigger numbers. So add nine beads on your string again. And 
and I'm going to do the same thing. Coming out of this point bead, we're going to string it through this point bead. And pull. Make sure it's nice and tight. Make sure everything's nice and tight on these. And then do that all the way around. So, now you're on your last one. So we have nine beads on the string. And we're going to put it through this point bead with the other one through. Let's string it through. And pull it nice and tight. And if you find you're running out of string, like I am, I'm gonna tie on real quick. Um, then just tie on more string, like add on. So now you're gonna st string it up through four pink beads or whatever color you're doing. And string it up through four, and then also string it through the fifth one because that will be your new point bead. The fifth one. And pull it nice and tight like so. I just quickly need to tie on more string. And to tie on more string, if you don't know how, take the two ends of the string, cross them, and then just tie a knot. And then just like double knot it to make sure it's tight. I usually do three to four knots. Because it would totally suck if your beanie came undone. So there. And then just pull it. Make sure it's tight. And then just cut off the extra string. And then just throw them out. So now. We just did 9 beads. Now we're going to do 11. So we're going to string on 11 beads. Okay, so once you have 11 beads on the string, now they're starting not to really get a point anymore because that's because like the points are mostly the points are mostly up here that give it its pointiness. But once you start getting further down, it starts to sag and you start to have less points, and then it just becomes all jellyfish-like. So then you're just gonna put it through. If you count just the fifth bead to just go up, and then you find the fifth bead. So I guess it still has a point right now. And you just put it through the fifth bead and then pull. And you just pull it right through. Make sure it's nice and tight. And we're going to do that again. So add 11 beads. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing we just did. You're going to get the fifth bead, pull it up, and you're going to string it through the fifth bead, and then just pull it nice and tight, and then it's going to start to form your beanie. Okay, so now you should have 11 beads on your string, getting ready to go through the last one, and you're just going to put it through the same one that we started with. And then just pull it nice and tight. Okay, now you're gonna string it up to the sixth bead. So here would be the sixth bead, and then you string it up to six. And then just pull it through. Now you're going to add 13 beads. So, going to just add 13. Okay. 
Okay, so once you string on 13 beads, you're going to find a 6 bead on this side and pull it up to the 6 bead. And you're pull it up and you're going to string it through. And make sure you pull it nice and tight again, just like you do on all the other ones. And then it starts to form your beanie and stuff. So yeah, we're about midway right now. Okay, now you should have 13 beads on your string, like so. Now we're just going to string it through the same one we did at the beginning. This one, the point bead. So yeah. By the way, a good tip is, if you found you did it all, and you don't want to undo it, but you notice you miscounted one, if you just cut the bead, it still looks the same. So that's a good idea. Now, you're going to string it up to the seventh bead. That will be your new point bead. Okay. And then pull it nice and tight, like everything else. Well, it's coming through your seventh bead. <coughs> Sorry. Now, since we just did 13, now we're going to do 15. It always goes odd numbers. So add on 15 beads. So then once you've added your beads, once you've added 15, sorry, <laughs> um, you string them on. I just added more strings with a knot. But once you've added them, then you're going to go through the seventh bead on this side, which is because it's your new point bead. So hold it up. Here it is. Right there. <clears throat> I'm just gonna pull. Make it nice and tight. And then you're gonna keep doing that till the end. Okay, now you should have 15 beads on your string for the last one. I'm just gonna weave it through the point bead that we used at the beginning. And now, after you do this, Pull nice and tight. The beanie is going to start to form now. <clears throat> and now, you're going to beat it up to the... To the seventh bead, yeah. To the eighth bead, sorry. No, nope. Seventh bead. Up to the seventh bead. to the seventh bead and then you're gonna put it through the eighth bead because that's gonna be your new point bead and now because we just added 15 now we're gonna add 17 so add 17 beads Okay, so once you have your 17 beads on, you're going to put it through the 8th bead. Yeah, you can put it through the 8th bead. Once you get this far, it kind of gets all mumble jumble because you don't have points anymore. They're just all one. I always like to double check just to make sure. Okay, and then pull it nice and tight. And then keep adding 17 until we get back over here again. Now you should have 17 beads on your string. You're going to string it through that point bead that you did at the beginning. And then just pull it, make sure everything's nice and tight. Now you're going to string it up to the... 
to the ninth bead. Do the ninth bead. Okay. So once you do that, we're going to double check. I always double check. So yeah. So now, now since we just added 17, we're going to add 19 beads. Making beanies were like my favorite things to make actually. And I love like what you get as a finished project. So once you have 19 beads on, you're going to want to put it through the ninth bead on this side. So your new point bead. So yeah, so you don't want to put it through the ninth bead. Right here. This is going to be your new point bead for this row. So I'm going to put it through there. And then do that till the end. And yeah. now you should have 19 beads on your string. We're going to string it through the point bead we started with. Oh, whoops. And now we're gonna string it up to the to the tenth bead. Let's string it up. Okay, so once you have it strung up through the 10 bead, you're going to add 21 beads. So once you have 21 beads on, you're going to string it through the 10th bead again. So then find the 10th bead and then just string it through, pull it nice and tight, and then keep doing that. Now you should have 21 beads on your string, and you're just going to put it through the point bead that we started it with, right here. And pull it, make sure it's nice and tight. Now we're gonna string it up to the 11th bead. And then once you have it through the eleventh bead, pull it all through. Now we're gonna add on twenty three beads.
Okay. So once you have 23 beads on your string, you're going to go ahead and push them all down. And then you're going to thread them through the 11th bead over here. So, go through the 11th bead, and then pull it nice and tight, and then do that till the end. Now you should have 23 beads on your string, and you're just going to string it through the point bead you started with, and then pull it nice and tight. Make sure it's nice and tight. This is your last row, so you're done. Now all you have to do is tie it. How I tie it is I kind of just thread it through one more bead and pull it through. And then I just go under the bead and pull it up through it so it's kind of like this. So you have a loop and a string. And then I just take, take it and cross it over and then tie a knot like that. I find it stays really well. And then you just, I recommend doing like three, three to four knots, just to make sure it stays and it doesn't break. I really suck. Your beanie bro. And then just cut off your extra string. And then you'll have a finished beanie. I'll show you how to put it on or how I put it on. I find it works best. I find... I find it works best if you take your beanie and you like put your hands under it and then you put it on like so. Um, if you've subscribed to my channel and like this video, I'll enter you in a draw and I'll be giving away a beanie. So subscribe and thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye.